The NHL is a league that has seen its share of great coaches. However, there have been some who have been hated by fans and players alike. These are the coaches who have made their mark on hockey history in a negative way, either because they were terrible at their job or they were simply jerks. Here are some of the most hated coaches in NHL history. John Tortorella no surprise that John Tortorella lands on this list. He's currently the head coach of the Philadelphia Flyers and was previously the head coach of the Columbus Blue Jackets, New York Rangers, Tampa Bay Lightning, and Vancouver Canucks. He led Tampa Bay to the 2004 Stanley Cup, but he's unfortunately best known for his crazy antics. Tortorella's coaching style is known for being unorthodox and controversial. He was once fined $20,000 by the league after yelling at officials during a playoff game against Montreal Canadiens back in 2011. In addition to this incident, there have been many others where his antics have gotten him into trouble with other teams, fans, or even his own players. He's also had several dust-ups with the media, which sometimes included profanity. Two of Tortorella's lowlights include fighting through arena security to force his way into the Flames locker room to confront head coach Bob Hartley and squirting water at a captain's fan, Mike Keenan. Mike Keenan is a coach with a long history in the NHL. He coached 19 seasons for five different franchises and won a Stanley Cup with the New York Rangers. Through the years, Keenan developed a number of enemies and his fair share of critics. In addition to being an aggressive coach, he likes to win games by any means necessary. Keenan's coaching style has been one based on intimidation and humiliation, earning him the nickname Iron Mike. He once threatened his players' wives if they didn't play better. He was accused of physically abusing players during practice sessions, and he refused to shake hands after losing games against the Detroit Red Wings after losing to them in the playoffs. Ken Hitchcock Ken Hitchcock is one of the most successful coaches in NHL history, having won a Stanley Cup with the Dallas Stars in 1999 and four division titles with the St. Louis Blues. However, he's also known for his intense coaching style and controversial comments about women's hockey. Many viewed Hitchcock as a real hard ass who ruled with an iron fist. His authoritative style often rubbed players the wrong way. However, maybe his worst moment came during an interview that included him making a sexist remark. In 2007, Hitchcock told Sports Illustrated that there are more girls playing hockey than boys now. He later apologized for the remark after it sparked controversy among female players and fans alike. John Muckler John Muckler is a former NHL coach who won two Stanley Cups with the Edmonton Oilers in 1984 and 1985. He also coached the Ottawa Senators to their first ever Stanley Cup Finals appearance in 2007. Muckler was known for his unconventional tactics, which often involved changing lines frequently and using players in different positions than they were used to playing. This led him to be criticized by some fans as being too stubborn or unwilling to adapt his systems depending on what kind of team he had in any given time. In addition, Muckler made several controversial comments about other teams' players during his time coaching in the NHL that caused many people to dislike him. John Brophy John Brophy was a coach for the New York Rangers, Toronto Maple Leafs, and Calgary Flames. Brophy's coaching style was intense, and he was known for his fiery temper on the bench. He would often throw things at players or yell at them during games if they made mistakes or didn't play up to his standards. One time, he even threw his stick at one of his players. Brophy had some controversial comments about other teams as well. If I were running Detroit right now, said Brophy after losing Game 7 against them in 1994, I'd blow up my team. Mark Crawford Mark Crawford is a coach who's been around the NHL for quite some time, and he's known for his aggressive coaching style. He's also known for making controversial comments about other teams and players, which has earned him many enemies over the years. In December 2019, several former players came forward with tales of abuse under Crawford. He accused Crawford of not being able to work with younger players and targeting certain players. They claimed he would often become verbally abusive and throw regular temper tantrums. Crawford's most notorious moment comes from encouraging his players to seek retribution against Colorado Avalanche player Steve Moore. This led to the infamous moment where Todd Bertuzzi attacked Moore from behind. 
driving his head into the ice, causing Moore to sustain three broken vertebrae and a multitude of facial lacerations, ending his career. Bill Peters Bill Peters is a former coach of the Carolina Hurricanes and the Calgary Flames. Unfortunately for Peters, his coaching career came to a screeching halt after an investigation was launched into allegations of misconduct by the coach, including the use of racial slurs and physical abuse. Peters is cited for using the N-word several times, while others have referred to his behavior as repugnant and unacceptable. Peters essentially admitted to his behavior in a public statement where he apologized for using offensive language. Former Hurricanes forward Michael Jordan alleged that Peters kicked him and punched another player in the head during a game. Multiple Hurricanes sources, including current Hurricanes head coach Rod Brindamore, corroborated those claims. Mike Babcock as an experienced Stanley Cup winning coach, Mike Babcock was one of the most respected coaches in the game. However, once he got to hockey's epicenter, coaching the Toronto Maple Leafs, he took a steep fall from grace. After being fired by the Leafs, some of Babcock's coaching tactics came under renewed scrutiny as players spoke out about the verbal abuse they received from the coach. The most high-profile incident involved then-rookie Mitch Marner. Backhawk was alleged to have asked Marner to list the players on the team from hardest working to those who, in the eyes of the rookie, didn't have a strong work ethic. Babcock told the players who had been listed at the bottom about Marner's ranking. Babcock has been alleged to have verbally abused multiple players on multiple occasions, and even once told a player he wasn't playing and forced him to change in the shower. There are a number of current and former coaches who are hated for several reasons stemming from poor performance, more severe claims including abuse and intimidation. Who's your most hated NHL coach?